guys, Work My Chair in today's video is going to be my June wrap up as well as my July TBR. Now, if you don't know what a wrap up is, that is pretty much every single book that I've read. And if you don't know what a TBR is, it's to be read. So those are all the books I want to read in June. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now, the reason, now I'm also going to be every single month combining the videos because here's the reason I read eight books this year, this year, no, this month. But normally I don't really read that much. That's just because I was also in summer. So when school starts back up, again, I'm going to be going back to reading two to three books. I mean, three to four books a month. So I don't really read that many books a month because of school and I have a lot of other things to get done. So yes. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with my June T no, wait, with my June wrap ups of what I read in the month of June. Um so yes, and if you don't know what this is, I do like a like a reading journal, so it's basically every single book that I read this. Month. So the first book I read was Beach Read by Emily Henry and I gave this book a four stars. Now this book follows January and Gus um, who are authors. So they're both authors and they switch genres and then they also fall in love. So January writes romance while Gus writes literary fiction and they can do a challenge and pretty much the challenges who can publish their book first. So it really was something, I, re I really did like this book. I really would read more Emily Henry books um, in the future. So I really did like this book and I do recommend the book to you guys. So yeah, that's book one. Then we got The Lake, my Natasha Pearson, or Pearson. Oh. On those. Um, this book I gave as well as a four stars. This book is really good. It really, what it follows is it follows two friends, Yzma and Kayla, and they did something at the lake, or they did something in the woods a long time ago, and they're trying to keep it a secret. And they're coming back as CTAs, which is like counselors and training. So they're doing counselors and training. I think that's what it is. Train. Yeah, counselors, C I don't know, CATs, counselors in training. Uh, one of those things, there are counselors in training and they're trying to forget about it, but then it resurfaces and the lake never forgets. So I really did like this. And I also really like the cover because it's like eerie and it's like, oh, what's happening? So I really did like it. I do recommend the book. And then I read the summer, I Turned Pretty by Jenny Palm. This is a series that everyone was raving about last year and I actually got all the books in this one book so I'm really happy about that but yes so this book everyone raved the, the series is everyone raving about. Um, so I gave the first book which is Summer I Turned Pretty uh, th two stars. Here's some of this. I did not hate it but there weren't okay it wasn't really good. The story evolves around Belly who goes to this so goes to Cousins Beach every single summer and hangs out with two boys named Conrad and Jeremiah and they and that's kind of really what happens but and then Belly falls in love for Conrad um, and that's pretty much what happens in this whole entire series. The first book was truly about her dating this dude named K so she meets a dude at, the, uh, at a bonfire camp but what i think is interesting what i didn't like about the book was that the first book you don't really get to see any of like what happened in the like you don't really get to hear her summer and it does also go from also when she was like the present summer to like summer a long time ago but it's not a book that really was, like you don't really get to see it. And then all, all of a sudden, Kaya and, and Belly break up and you really don't get to see their dates. So it really was a book that I really did not care for. Then we have, it's Not Summer Without You, which is a three stars. That's when she and Jeremiah are on this hunt to find Conrad. 
um that's a three stars it was good it was like it was okay all right but it wasn't that spectacular then we'll always then it's uh we'll always have summer which is another three stars again a good one it's just pretty much um the book is i, I that's actually a spoiler so again i recommend this series i just didn't like it so yeah didn't care for it okay next we have never coming home now this book follows 10 influencers on this island called unknown island now i gave this book a one star and let me tell you i really did not care for this book at all um oh this was also by kate williams um okay so this just didn't i did not care for the book i didn't care for this i just didn't like it it reminded me too much of the movie old if you've seen it yeah if not, i would here okay uh it wasn't again a book that i cared for it also had okay i don't really care for long chapters you can have long chapters but she had long chapters but they she had long chapters it was in third person and it was a dull point of view book but she didn't like you know how in dull point of view books it's like each chapter falls around a character or they will like, especially in one of us is lying karen mcmanus what she does is she'll say okay this is Bronnie's point of view this is Bronway, or this is nate's or you know but it really it was so confusing on who we were following in this particular book and it really was just kind of a book that i really it was a story that I really didn't care for. I recommend this book to people who love old, but other than that, I didn't, I don't really know. I just did not care for it. Girl. Okay. Then I read The Hobbit by J.R.L. Tolkien. I am gave this book a four stars. This book was, okay. The Hobbit fall really revolves around this hobbit named Bilbo Baggins and he goes on to an adventure with dwarves and Gandalf and all those things. Now pretty much every single person has read this book so far so it's really something that's like okay read this book I know what it's about. If you haven't I really do recommend this and now I'm also really excited because now I can read Lord of the Rings. So it's really exciting but I really did like this book because it was a book that I thought was interesting and it really would like I never got bored of it which I kind of was kind of scared that I was gonna get bored of it but I never really did it was a really good book and I really do recommend this if you have not read it yet but I mean everyone's read it next and I'm excited for this one I read it. then the last book I read this month was Caraval by Stephanie Garber this book I gave a four stars this book is I really do recommend the Caraball. Um, I really did like it. I thought it, it was a really good book and it was just a book that I really did like. So what the story falls around is Scarlet, who's the main character, and she writes letters to Legend, who is the master of Caraball, who, and it's like also a game as well. So they play a game and yeah, and she's like on hunt try to find her sister. It was really good. I really do recommend this book. And I do also think the writing in it was really good. It was like magic. It was like a really lyrically magical writing. And I really, really, really did like it. So those are all the eight books I read in June. Correction, I finished nine books this month. I just finished The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, it was better than the first book. It is a 3.5 for me. So, yeah. It's good. I see the hype and I will continue on with the series. Now, you might see this is a humongous um, TBR, but that's just because I have so many thick books on here. Like, I mean, like, books that are over, like, 400 pages. But, um, I thought that it'd be fun to do I have 10 books that I have on my July TBR but I and the reason why I did this is because I read um eight and I thought you know maybe I just will do two more and that's what I'm gonna do in every single one of mine I'm going to add one more book that I read or maybe two more books that I read that last month so yes that is what we're gonna be doing so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this because I don't need that anymore okay 
we're gonna go ahead and start off with all the books that I want to read. First book I want to read in July is Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the Caraval series. So what this book follows around is pretty much like Tella... I don't know, because it's kind of... If you haven't read Caraval, this is going to be a big spoiler. It's just pretty much them going back into the games, so like Tella and Scarlet going back into the games. So that's like really all it is. Uh, the next book I want to read is Divergent by Victoria Ruth. Um, now I cannot wait to, to read Divergent. Now here's what this is. I really have no clue what this is about because they don't really have that many summaries. But what I've heard is that like um, you choose there's like different like levels of it. I don't know. I just cannot wait to read this book because um, my friends have read this book and they say that it's really good. So I cannot wait to go ahead and read this book. See, I've heard just. Next, I want to read um, Harley Quinn Reopening. This is by Rachel Allen. Now, I love Harley Quinn and this is by the way, a young adult book that she also, so she has a random, but there's so many ones that they have written like different like ones. So I really do want like the Wonder Woman, Batman, Catwoman, Superman, and Black Canary. I really do, I would really like those books to read those books, but this is a book that I have and I have gotten and it's really exciting because this is pretty much about Harley Quinn becoming like her, like the doctor thing that she does but then she gets part of this group that is not really that good and she shouldn't have this her group so I cannot wait to read it see what it's about okay the next book I have is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows now I'm actually about halfway through with the book I keep every month like I keep on reading set like a chapter to or to a month but for some odd reason i cannot seem to like keep on like i put it down and i go into other books i cannot seem to keep on reading this book so i really do hope that i can finish it but i'm also just like i think it's one of those things that like if i finish it the harry potter world is done like for like it's not okay it's not the world's not done just i'm not going to be able to learn any more things i'm not going to be able to be submerged into this world so i think that's also why but i do hope they can get to this and try to finish it today i mean not today this month okay next i got is city of bones by S sandra claire this is what the first book in the mortal instrument series and also in like the uh doo -doo -doo. and also in another like in the world that she has so i um am going to start this series this um one i know that this is pretty much a book that series that everyone has read and pretty much everyone has also read like her other books and other series i just cannot wait to go into the book i really also do i don't know what it is but i love the cover of the book so, not going to get into a fantasy little world. So, yes. Okay, next book that I want to read is Lucas on the Line by Soya Davis. I, sorry if I said your name wrong. But I really, this is um, about Lucas and Claire from Stranger Things. Now, they also have Runaway Max, which I've read, but I really, I do want to reread that sometime this year, as well as Rebel Robin, which I have not read that book. But it's a, I love Stranger Things, Lucas and Claire is one of my favorite, um, it's one of my favorite characters, and I'm so excited to read this. So this book is about him trying to fit in in high school, um, and he plays also basketball. So this is kind of him trying to like, he's moving away, from D and D, playing D and D with his friends, going basketball, to being that cool kid, and all, and not being pushed around anymore. So that is what the book is all about, and I cannot wait to read it. And I also do hope that they do a book for every single one of the characters, because if they did, I would for sure like read it and pick it up. 
Okay, next slide. Okay, the next book we got is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This is a book. This is a fantasy that has gone, that is actually was famous, well, it's still famous, but it's gone around and everyone raves about it. Everyone loves it. So I would love to read this book and actually get to read this book. So I'm really excited and I cannot wait for what this book is. And by the way, I also do like going into books, like I will read like what's on the back, but like some most of the time I really don't. And again, I'm also one of those people who are very bad to the point where I will read and I'll pick the book up based off of its cover. So yeah, but I also do want to like go into, I do like to go in books blind and not really like know what it's about. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. Okay, this next book I'm really excited for, and that is what happens after midnight midnight by k.l wolster i did read um the summer of broken rules by her uh it wasn't last month it wasn't in june but it was in may and you did also get to see that in the book uh video i did reading summer books um so i read some books and i did read that book and i absolutely loved it and i did also think her writing was so good so amazing so i cannot wait to pick this book up this book will be one of the first this would be like one of the books that i will read and this is definitely on my radar and it's also a new release so that's exciting okay next i got hey keeper of lost cities ever seen by suzanne Mess messenger why did i say that weirdly that was very weird how I said Messenger. Um, this is a series. This is the fourth book in the Lost City series. And let me tell you, I am like 94 pages into this book. I have, I read the first three, didn't really care for those books, didn't, but I would, I, I don't know like really what it is about but this book is like in my school in my class every single person has pretty much read it or is going to read it and one of my friends is like one of the biggest fans of it and I'm not even joking like she'll talk about this book constantly so I read the first three did not care for it so I don't know about the fourth book but people do say people are saying that it is that it does get better that it doesn't focus on like too much because here's something is this the first two books 90% of it is spent on establishing the world and then 10% of, and then the rest 10% is just like action good and it, those are the books are like this every book is really thick like it's a brick every book is like a brick and the fact that I'm having to sit through pages of just like world, like she cares too much about the world. And then in the third book, 50-50% of it is like action and the other percent of it is there. And she also does repeat a lot of the chapters. So it's like, I feel like for like 15 chapters, I'm reading the same exact chapter. So that's like what it feels like, but I do hope that it does get better. That's just what I hope. Okay, that was a long time since going on Keeper Lost Cities. Okay, now we got Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Ferguson. Um, here's the news. I really read one book by Stephanie Ferguson, and I didn't really, I didn't like it. So I do hope that this book is better, and this book everyone liked it. Like, it was... It's one of those like it was like an o it's an OG book talk book, so I cannot wait to read this book, and yes, as well as I'm actually really excited because one of the books and I'm so excited when this series that I'm gonna be able to continue is coming out with a new book this month, and that series is One of Us Is Lying, and on July 25th. One of Us is Back is coming out and I'm super duper excited. So I will also be doing a reading vlog, getting that and also reading it because I'm gonna tell you that I'm probably going to read that right as I get it and probably stay up all night and just read it and binge it because 
I love one of his design series. If you have not read it, read it. It is so good. Um, and I'm really excited to see where this story continues. So yeah, but that is all the books on my July TBR. Those are all the books I read in June. So I cannot, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good night, good day, wherever you are. And yes, goodbye.